Hello? Hello? I think it's working. I'm sorry I'm having some difficulty um, <laughs> trying to see if this is working or not, but uh, I think it's This is the first time I'm streaming. I'm really sorry if I messed this up in any way. I'll try and do my best. I just wanted to give an idea um, of how I take my pictures because a lot of people ask me what exactly I do a lot of the time, um, how I set up my my wind light and, and uh, how big a picture I take and so forth. So I thought I'd just kind of give a quick overview of what I do. Um, before I start, I, I always obviously get all dressed and I pick a location. Um, I'm at the virtual DK sim right now. It's one of my favorites, it's like a really grunge urban sim. And um, I usually pose and so forth, but I'm just going to be using my AO here just to give an idea. So ooh, I'm getting weird messages saying warning, but hopefully it's working. Uh, so when I'm starting, uh, the first thing I want to do is I want to play with wind light. So I open up Photo Tools. Now, I know a lot of, not everybody uses Firestorm. My favorite viewer is Firestorm. If you don't use Firestorm, you can go to a world if you're using the official viewer and then environment editor, sky presets. And I usually edit a preset so I can just start new. But uh, I use Firestorm. This is the wind light. It's called Dusty. That, uh, that's um, the default one on the sim. So I'm just gonna start playing with that. Um, usually when I want to adjust the wind light, I create a new sky preset and then I just go into the settings. Now a lot a lot of people I, for some reason are very afraid to play with the settings but I think for every wind light you should customize it for every image. Um, it's not just like okay pick one. I think it's really important to play around with the sun moon settings and so forth just to get it the right like the right look for your picture. So if you can see my, I look kind of dark there's no real shadowing on me. We want uh, we want me to stand out some more. So the first thing I usually do is play with the sun moon setting and just get the shadows to where I like them. I like I like it behind me like that so you can see that there's some sort of light coming from in front of me. There's also some lighting coming from behind me. So you can actually rotate that if you want to give that effect that the lighting from behind is coming but I think because of the buildings it won't really work. So uh, once you play with the sun moon settings I like also playing with the haze and the density so you can add a little bit of fog in the background. Um, I know a lot of people uh, use this. Uh, this has been kind of like if you if you're on Flickr and you're an active member of Flickr, you'll see a lot of, uh, a lot of people using a lot of um, uh, fog or um, kind of like a dusty look in their and there, uh, oh, I'm having people chatting in my thing, I hope. If uh, if you guys have any questions while I'm talking, feel free feel to say them in the chat. I'm going to try and keep an eye at, on that at the same time. Um, so this is where you want to mess with that. This is where you want to add a, a little bit of the haze to give it kind of like a distance. Look, uh, this is a little too much. Uh, the max altitude, you want to play with that as well. But um, basically, you just want to get it to what you think looks best for your picture. What What's the mood that you want for your image? Um, I kind of liked what it had before originally, so I'm going to go back to that. So once you have your lighting all set, please do play with the settings. If you are, if you have the sky in the background, you can actually even play with the clouds. Uh, the Photo Tools is great that it has everything available for you. Um, in the settings themselves, a lot of th things for you to play with. So once you have the cloud, uh, once you've played with the settings, I don't usually cl close it or what you can do is you can rename it and then save it. But I usually don't close it, I just minimize it so I can go ahead and adjust it for later. And then I hit the snapshot button. Now when you're, when I'm taking a snapshot, 
um, I want to make sure I save to disk because you want to save it in in the biggest possible format and resolution as possible. Uh, then you're gonna you're gonna take that into Photoshop and uh, process it. Even if you don't take it into Photoshop, when you crop it down using any kind of imaging software, if when you crop it or resize it, it still has a very sharp and crisp look to it. If you take it uh, a bigger size than your regular screen size, so you're gonna hit save to disk, and I usually. Um, Okay, before you do that, you hit save to disk, then you want to make sure this is set to custom. And I always constrain proportions, so I don't mess with the sizing. What, what happens if you don't have constraint proportions and you start playing with these settings, you're going to get uh, a bad ratio, um, I don't know what you call it, aspect ratio uh, for your pictures. And you don't want that. You want to make sure you have constrained proportions checked. And then I usually um, take it to the as highest of the of the width I can take it to because you the bigger the bigger the picture the better but I know some people have problems with that I know a lot of people if they if they shoot over 4,000 or 5,000 they crash a lot so if if you feel like you're crashing a lot then you can lower it and and take it from there but I usually take it as the highest as I can get it another thing that I don't know if the official viewer has this I think they do but I'm not sure but Firestorm has these filters you can use these filters to add a little bit more um, flare, color, depth, different um, processing to your images if you're looking for something like this black and white shot is kind of cool. So if I want to, uh, you can use one of these. I usually don't because I usually like to process in Photoshop, but I mean these are fun to play with and try out. So let's just say I'm, I like this black and white look and I just want to hit refresh one more time because I, I changed this, the width and the height and I changed the filter. And then you want to make sure you're saving it at, as a PNG file, because the PNG file is you'll get the best quality in the smallest size. If you save it as a BMP, you're going to get like this massive file, and it's not really going to be any better quality than the PNG. JPEG is lower quality, so make sure you don't save it in that. So you save it as a PNG file, and then you just hit save, and it works, or it crashes on me and you hit save. So then you've got your picture saved and you'll have it in in your folder wherever you've saved it and then you can take it into Photoshop and play with it and do whatever you want with it. Uh, usually when I'm when I take a close-up one thing I've noticed is when you take an image this big and you save it to your disk you'll notice the sh there'll, you'll possibly have more shadows or really strong shadows than what you see on on the screen because of the resolution is bigger so you want to we want to be careful with that you want to double check your picture once you shot the image and take a look at it and see how the shadows turned out and you might want to adjust them so don't just take it and like not adjust them or play with them another thing uh, I forgot to mention before you take the image I do want to point out uh, this zooming thing a lot of people don't know about this is if you are zooming into yourself and you just use the the mouse you'll kind of get like a fisheye effect and that doesn't doesn't really look good so if you want to zoom into yourself instead of using the mouse use control zero so you just press the control button or I think it's command on um, an Apple computer and then you just press zero you can press I, I, a lot of people like to press it a lot of times I usually do about three to five times so it, it flattens the image and you don't get that fisheye effect as you can see um, it, it, my face looks a little bit more proportionate so I hope uh, that was uh, informative. Uh, I'm going to look over and see if there's any questions that uh, came up. <laughs> yeah, if you can, uh, a lot of people are threatening to bomb me, feel free to do that. Um, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or um, share them with me in the, in the comments afterwards. Or you can even email me, I don't know. Uh, I hope this was informative. I'm not sure what else to talk about. Uh, but if you want next time for me to um, go into further details or something or perhaps if we're uh, I can go s explore a sim or if you have any of any other ideas of what you want me to stream in Second Life please share them with me I, I was thinking about doing some sort of events or something uh, where I go possibly doing a hunt or something ah I see I'm seeing I'm being photobombed <laughs> hi Jackson but uh, yeah oh I like his avatar look at that very nice I guess he's already dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> I should take a picture. That looks so nice. Let's see. 
Let me do that. I gotta get rid of this black and white now. Okay. <laughs> I love his little dance. Okay, so I think I'm done for today. I'm gonna make it short because I don't know. I don't know how this is turning out, so I'm gonna see how it turns out, and hopefully next time I stream, I will go for longer and do some other fun stuff. But thanks, for you guys, for viewing and for commenting. And uh, yeah, I'm not wearing. Oh, sorry, I'm not wearing the cat. I'm oh, sorry, I missed the questions. I'm not wearing the he a mesh head today. I'm just wearing. Um, oh, I should talk about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Truth hair, and I'm wearing Glam Affair skin. And I'm wearing, uh, yes, Adam's shirt and jacket. I think it's at an event right now, but I'm not sure which one. I'm really sorry. But I'll, I'll put it in the comments, or maybe I'll blog the video once I once I get it up. Um, so I'll, I'll share, share details of where it is. Uh, I don't remember the event. And the jeans are Matreya, and the shoes are erratic, and the tattoo is lettuce tattoo, and... I think my necklace is K, but I'm not sure, but I think I think it is, and my piercings are uh, Mandela. So that's it. Um, <laughs> no problem. I hope they were informative. I'm really glad uh, you guys were here and watching. Kind of made me nervous that you're watching, but it's kind of cool at the same time. <laughs> so next time, uh, I'll try exploring a sim, or if you have any other suggestions of what you'd like me to stream, let me know. Okay, talk to you later. Bye!